God chooses King Saul. Samuel was a great prophet who followed what God wanted him to do but, he didn't raise his sons very well because they did what they wanted they wanted to get rich. Israel got worried about what was going to happen once Samuel died they didn't want his sons to lead them they asked for a king so they could be like all of the other nations God didn't want them to be like the other nations just like God doesn't want us like the world he set them apart he was their king. Samuel is upset that the people want a king he talks to God about it God reminds Samuel that it isn't about him but about God they have rejected God he reminds Samuel about some of the other times that the people of Israel deserted him this was not the first time. God was willing to give the people of Israel what they wanted but with a strong warning of what was to come Samuel told the people exactly what God had said and they still wanted a king. God said okay God picked Saul from the tribe of Benjamin there were 12 tribes of Israel this stems from the 12 sons of Jacob Benjamin was the youngest son of Jacob. The tribe of Benjamin was the smallest tribe God doesn't choose people based on how we as humans would choose someone he has his own criteria the Bible says that there wasn't anyone like him among the people of Israel usually that means that he was a good person it also explains that Saul was very tall. This is how they anointed someone to be king. A prophet would pour oil over their head. What do you think Saul was thinking? When he woke up that morning, he didn't realize that he would be king of Israel by the time he went to bed. It is time for Samuel to tell the people of Israel who would be their king. He has all of the people gather around and group themselves with their tribes. Each tribe comes forward and Samuel chooses the tribe of Benjamin. He then chose Saul. But he was missing. God told them where he was, hiding in the luggage, 